Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play War Hospital. We've just um, hired another surgeon and we've got plenty of uh, patients in the uh, casualty clearing station. Unfortunately, the surgeon hasn't arrived yet. I think it's with the next train in 30 minutes. I believe that's when they should be arriving. One incoming. So hopefully we can get them soon. We are producing uh, surgical supplies as fast as we can at the moment. And, uh, yeah. We don't have a lot of them. Because right now, we are using 20 out of 19. And these guys are not even on the table yet. So, uh, Viranga, uh, I can't quite read, is being operated on. And the doctor will get exhausted. Oh, my God. He will have to operate on this guy. If we want him to survive, okay. Unless this operate, yeah, this operation is going to take a long time, so the other doctor can do that. There we go, excellent. More soldiers will live through thanks to hiring another doctor. Okay, now that the surgeon arrived, HQ granted you staff points to hire any units you like. Doctors perform operations on patients. Nurses are needed for rehabilitation. They provide bonuses in other buildings. Medics carry wounded uh, between buildings as well as take care of the dead patients. Engineers produce resources and construct improvements this concludes hiring basics okay so first of all we need to get this guy into operating uh op the operating room oh they got the same picture that's odd uh usually that doesn't happen uh let's get these guys operated on as well he's going to be fine and then we'll take care of these guys as well oh It does take a lot of, um, yeah, see. Uh, they're only going to have one chevron, uh, but we're not going to let them die. There we go. Let's do it like this. We need 30 resources. However, I would like to hire more nurses. I want another nurse... Uh, and I want more engineers. Definitely. Let's do that. There we go. In four hours. I want another nurse because one will be, um, will be, uh, moving them. You see, I always want the casualty clearing station and the rehabilitation center, uh, stocked. The operating ward would be nice, but it only gives you bonuses on operations. Uh, but, of course, these nurses will get tired and exhausted, and I want them to rest in the meantime. Sir, the nurses are on the way. And for engineers, it's very important that we get them, because we have two more slots right now, and then we'll have plenty more open, so they can produce food as well. And food and medicine is going to be some of the most important resources we have. Um, the food is going to run out, and of course, medicine as well. Oh, what's going on? Sir, it appears our initial diagnosis of this case was wrong. The wound was cleaned and the shards were removed, but there is no severe internal damage or other complications. We should be able to finish the operation shortly. Excellent. Shorter operations by th 3 hours 11 minutes. Very, very nice. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, he's still going to be exhausted. See, so now we can move this up because this operation is going to take a lot less time. Okay, two patients in, are being operated on. You can also zoom in and actually see. Oh, there we go. Those are two patients. Oh, look, that's an x-ray, I guess. Reach the casualty clearing station. Okay, so problem is we have this uh, comet coming up and we don't have enough people. So he's got two chevrons. We're going to send everyone back to the trenches for now. To this day, he has dreams about the first soldier he killed with his bayonet, and when he wakes up, he instinctively wipes his hands clean of the warm blood. Sir, patient is cured. There we go. We're now good. So we need just a couple more soldiers. I hope we can do it. Because it's going to take a while for them to rehabilitate as well. So this is slightly concerning. 
There we go. Good job. That concludes production basics. You can find more details about the production process in the compendium. Okay. To see when this uh, icon reaches here, uh, that soldier will be on the, or in the trenches. And boop, there we go. They're in the trenches. And now the music will soon change because we're going to have incoming combat. So we lost this patient. Damn it. All right. Well, we already have them in the cemetery, actually. Oh, more patients arriving. Sir, new patient arrived. All right. You're good and you're stable, but eight. I hope I have enough strength left to operate. Okay. For now, we're going to leave it like this. Damn it, he's bleeding out, hurry! One of the currently assigned units is exhausted from working for too long. If we ignore it, that unit will collapse. Enter the unit assignment view to gain more information. Okay, where? Units that were working lose energy. When they work for too long without resting, their energy depletes and they collapse. Uh, units assigned to job works uh, to jobs work until they collapse. Units that have collapsed can't work until they regain all of their energy, meaning they have to rest for much longer. Unassigned units regain energy over time, so make sure to unassign them before they collapse. You can also set shifts so that units work during their shift and automatically rest outside working hours. This can be done after unlocking the shift system in the improvement menu. Uh, what I wish really is that they would these bars here that they would deplete so these would show you at a glance how exhausted the unit is. Um, wait, who is exhausted? What? Someone is close to collapse. I guess that doctor. He, no, he's tired only. He's not exhausted. Who's... Okay. I guess that must have been, like, a remnant of the tutorial from before or something. And I've already done it. Sir, may I have a word with you? Okay. <sighs> Certainly. Tell me what's on your mind. I was approached today by one of the civilian that stayed in the city. A man named Theo Blank. He was a stonemason here. According to his words, he customarily made a tombstone for each person buried in the cemetery. But with cemetery requisitioned by the military and so many deceased, he will not be able to because of the sheer amount of work. Well, that is certainly sad. But I don't see anything we could do to help him. Well, I think I have a kind of solution to this problem, sir. There is a significantly seized rock in the cemetery. We could use it to make a sort of memorial stone and carve there the name of each person died or that will die in the future. Mr. Theo Blank volunteered to prepare the stone and carve the name each time the person dies. All that is needed, sir, is your permission. All right. Praven and local stonemason Theo Blank uh, want to use a rock in the cemetery to create a memorial stone for all deceased in the hospital and trenches, carving up names on the stone each time someone dies. To do this, they need your permission. I wonder what happens if you decline. Well, let's agree. So this stone will be used for that. Um, we can't see it yet because they have to actually perform that task. All right, so... We've got 21 surgical supplies. Still making more as fast as we can. There we go. Now they're getting tired. Ah, we already have the extra engineers. Excellent. So, we can make more food. We've got an extra nurse now. Uh, let's get her to the rehabilitation center. Sir, engineer is on the way. <clears throat> There's no one there yet. Sir. Engineers reached the engineering depot. Oh man, these guys are taking so long in the operation. I don't want to be just on good. I want to be strong so we don't have as many casualties. Even though, as horrible as it sounds, more casualties, or well, more wounded, who are then operated on and rehabilitated, means more resources for us, in essence, because they give us requisition Sir, forms. We lost this patient. Damn it! No! Okay, we already have them in the cemetery. Come on! Sir, 
Two patients died. <laughs> no, wait. Did he die or? Yeah. Ah, oh, they both died. Oh, that sucks. Well, we're only going to have a good defense, not a strong defense, I guess. Well, that's a problem. I was a little too quick there before the tutorials. The cemetery needs at least one medic team. What do you mean? They have a medic team there. There we go. We're just getting more. Sir, it appears our initial diagnosis of this case was wrong. The wound was clean and the shards were removed. Okay, excellent. Shorter operation. At least something good. Still going to take a long time. I don't think we can rehabilitate them before combat. It would be nice, even though that's horrible to say for Wyatt Miles, because they would be sent back to the trenches. Sir, operation was successful. Excellent. Okay. This guy's getting tired or exhausted, more like. On the way. Um, right, we've got 939, I should Sir, really... I am happy to report that Mr. Blank finished the memorial stone. It is ready now. If you would like to examine it, it awaits at the cemetery. Okay, first of all, a thousand uh, freight is the maximum you can have. And in this, at this part of the game, you don't quite get to use all of it, so you kind of waste the shipments. So I'm going to, um buy some improvements i think there um i have to yeah he's resting but okay so we spend that sir we do not have uh, military drafts okay we will so now we can go here to the memorial and there is in memorial all the people that have died coming to our hospital okay let's see how long are you going to be rehabilitating for ah 12 hours but that's oh, i think that's just enough um oh you've got only one chevron oh no you need to go to the trenches yeah well that's the best we can do hopefully it's going to be enough to get us to strong engineers reached the construction site hopefully Okay, uh, let's pull these guys off so they can rest. Sir, medics are on the way. Okay, we've got this guy who's stable, but uses a lot of um, medical supplies. We'll see if we can save him. Oh, he's rested. Excellent. He can take care of two more. Okay. <clears throat> Despite that x-ray we we made. Darn. Would be nice if this guy ah, it's taking a long time. Would be nice if this guy had a short rehabilitation time and we could actually uh get him into the trenches, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Starting a new shift. Okay, so there's another doctor with another operation now. I could put the easier operations on there. Sir, it seems the bullet passed through the patient's body without causing major damage to his internal organs. His expected chances of survival are much higher than anticipated. Understood. Excellent. There we go, and... Sir, operation was successful. Excellent. Next. Okay, they're getting tired. Let's bring her over here. Sir, nurses are on the way. <clears throat> what is that? Alright, there is no... Yeah, 12 hours. Okay, one chevron. We're going to release you from duty. Um, Xiaobo Yi. Uh, former launderer. He has only one dream to one day forget it all. However, he knows that it will never come true. Releasing soldiers from duty gives you morale, which is important to keep up, because if it reaches zero, it's game over. We have to acquire military drafts. Sir, nurses reached the 
So it seems that fortunately the bullet stopped on the bone without doing much damage to the body. We were able to remove it quickly and finish the operation faster than we expected. Excellent. Shorter operation. Some good news at last. And I'm really hoping the soldier will get us to strong. But I very much doubt it. Sir, operation was successful. Next. Eight hours. Yeah, there's no way, right? Oh, there is! There we go! Just before combat. I'm sorry, Daniel Baron. I'm sorry. Single, no children. Former farm laborer. He has twice been appointed to the firing squad. He is convinced that at least once he had live ammunition. Jeez. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You have to go to the trenches. We need... Oh, that was so close. Okay, we got another one. Uh, could I? Yeah, I could put him on there as well. Maze Bullivan. When he was 10 years old, his parents wanted to send him to school. He ran away and never went back to them. Widower, three children. Alright, now we'll need to start working towards getting more uh, military drafts. Oh, yeah, there's another one where, which we are not prepared for. <clears throat> another attack, but we'll have more. Ooh, there we go, more patients arriving. Sir, new patient arrived. <clears throat> Ooh, that's good. I cannot die here, sir. I need to keep fighting. Did he say I keep fighting? I didn't quite see. Rest after those. How's the engineers? They must be getting tired now. Yeah, they are getting tired. And of course, he's ready. Uh, so let's... Okay. I think he just went back to rest. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, resting. I'll finish... We'll finish this improvement soon. <clears throat> it's not... Ah, oh, damn it. Denied admission. Oh, yeah. It's not that it's going to help us, uh, because right now we cannot really uh, get any more uh, surgeons. Sir, medics are on the way. These guys are getting exhausted as well. Sir, engineer is on the way. So the food supplies are going down now. We are um, sort of keeping up with medical or surgical supplies. <clears throat> so that's good. And we're sending three soldiers. Uh, so <coughs> three soldiers to the trenches. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. The train has arrived. Unfortunately, <coughs> if you look at the schedule, not all trains bring you everything. <coughs> so, for example, here, we're just getting four civilians, which means more mouths to feed. Civilians don't really give us anything. <coughs> we are getting small amounts of food and reasonable amounts of freight. And that's good. Sir, operation was successful. Excellent. Next. See, when you have two medic teams on the casualty clearing station, one can take the patient that's um, going to recovery, and the others can take another patient to the operating ward. <clears throat> uh, I'll send you to HQ, even though we will need more... Um, fighting force. Oh, now we're strong there. Interesting. <clears throat> Not sure what happened there. Sir, the operation was surprisingly easy and allowed the operating team to gain more faith in their skills. Excellent. So, everything becomes easier and morale rises. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa, so slippery. I hate that. Probably blood. Sir, patient is cured. Excellent. Doctor is starting a new ship. There we go. They're bringing another patient. patient. Is nice. But we are soon going to get a lot of wounded. Uh, because of that incoming combat. So it's good that these guys are now um, here operating. And we, we're about to use pretty much all of our medical supplies. So 
the sooner we make more the better sir it seems that the patient's body was able to fight off the infection on its own closing the wound should be enough to help the patient recover so allow for only closing of the wounds which uses three less surgical supplies or do the procedure by the book which will be shorter rehabilitation by eight hours which is quite a lot but right now i think i would prefer the surgical supplies to be saved <clears throat> so this is very good news So how's my engineers doing? You're ready? Go and make more stuff. You can hear the uh, the music be more tense and combaty. What's going on here? We've just received a message from the HQ, sir. They're asking us to uh, help them with railway maintenance on a track nearby. If we do so, they'll grant us staff permits. Send an engineer to help with the repairs. An engineer will be unavailable for 12 hours, but we gain two of these um, staff things, which is very difficult to get. So definitely, uh, we're going to be sending them. Sign. I've sent the one that's tired because I don't think they can get exhausted or collapse while working on this special assignment. <clears throat> Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Excellent. Loman Bertie is... Sir, patient is cured. Excellent. We should also remove these guys and let them rest. They'll be tired. So I'll send her here. For Sir, now. medics are on the way. But not remove the other one just yet. <clears throat> I feel like a newborn. Ah, excellent. Enhancement was finished. There we go. And as soon as she's there. Sir. Because otherwise, if you take the nurse out and there's no nurse in the center, uh, the rehabilitation stops. Sir, are on the way. Let me also check the engineers now. Maintaining the railway and he's resting. Okay. For one more hour. We need more freight. When will this bloody rain stop? You what, mate? Where's the train? I thought there was one arriving just now. Sir, patient is cured. Excellent. Pharmacy. He's exhausted. Three shift in the eight hour system. One shift in the twelve hour shift system. We don't have the shift Sir, system yet. New patient arrived. More casualties. Stable. I don't know if we can save this one. I will try, sir. You will. You can do this. I believe in you. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. And here's combat coming. German attack is coming. Brace your hearts, men. Soldier. All right, we have a wounded soldier. Okay, so that's good. There's only one wounded Sir, soldier. Operation was successful. But now we have to assign a medic team to the uh, advanced dressing station, so they can actually bring them here. Sir, medics are on the way. Oh no, there's four, not one. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this. It's such a fun game with such a heavy subject. Um, a big thank you to my patrons for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.